horses are good mirrors and I can uh, remember one day that there was a, a young female student who was at the barn and and she just wasn't herself that day and I could tell because her horse was telling me and they just were not kind of the same dynamic duo that they had been in the past and so I went up and just kind of checked in with her and said hey you know Rocky doesn't seem like he's himself today how are you and it turns out that uh, she was kind of going through some hard, her family was going through some hard circumstances and she had a tough day of counseling. And I was able to share with her about um, my experience when I went through my parents' divorce. And uh, at the time I was playing team sports and I was really thankful to have something else to focus on, to be able to go to practice and be around my teammates and have something else to focus on and it helped my emotions not seem so overwhelming, helped me direct my energies towards something constructive. And, and I think the Lord used that as a particular blessing for me at the time. And I would, would leave practice with greater clarity and perspective. And so she didn't feel like she was up for challenging, uh, for taking on tackling the same challenge as the other students that day but I was able to ask her what was something she did feel like she could do. And sometimes we, when things feel overwhelming, we can feel kind of all or nothing. And either I have to do these list of a thousand things or I can't do anything, but usually there's something we can do. And if we just take that first step, um, we're on our journey headed where we need to go. And for our students here, we hope that's towards Jesus. And so that day she was able to to come up with her own challenge to tackle and uh, I think it helped her gain some perspective on the moment.